what's up? This is Logan Zanelli from loganzanelli.com again. So this would be episode four of the branding project. And um, as usual, if you haven't seen the previous episodes, I certainly recommend that you do so, so that you'll know basically what I'm talking about today. All right, so um, the last video we were talking about audience demographics and the market that we're going to be presenting to. One of the things that I want to talk about right off the bat is uh, flexibility. One of the important things that people sometimes lose sight about when they're building a brand is being flexible. Well, what do I mean by that? Um, here's the thing. When you are ready to launch a new product or a new service and you're starting to build a brand and getting ready to launch a company or what have you, a lot of times you'll go into it with some preconceived ideas of what you think would be cool and what you think would be great. And as you start researching the market and researching what niche you're going to go into, like we talked about in the last video, it's important to be flexible with your idea because sometimes you're going to want to tailor your idea to a particular segment of a specific niche. Um, this is a perfect example of what we're talking about here in these videos. And this is one of the things I love the most about doing this live ish. <laughs> Obviously these are recorded videos, but doing this in front of you so you can see the process of building a blog. When, if you go back to video one, you remember I talked about um, what I was going to call the project and why, and um, I gave it the name, you know, Startup Brigade. In the process of doing that, and this is uh, a big part of the reason why I did it that way, I wanted you to be able to see how things tend to bear out sometimes when you're doing research and building a brand. You have to have that level of flexibility. Now, as I said in the last video, I'm going to be primarily marketing to women. So I could conceivably stick with the name Startup Brigade, which I originally picked, and just plow forward with that idea. That's, you know, that's my idea. And that's how I want it to be. And that's what I'm going to call it and so on and so forth. But the problem with that is that isn't going to specific that I mean that really isn't going to be as um, effective at doing what I want to do as something else that I could call it and I already have picked a new name I'm not going to tell you what it is yet because that's going to be a surprise it's coming a little bit later it's pretty cool actually um, so I'll be looking forward to that but um, what I will say is I wanted one of the big reasons that I did the the videos in this order and revealed the information in the order that I did is so that you can see the process as a whole but then also see the flexibility that's required as you go along and you do your research and you build your brand. So keep that in mind. You want to keep a open mind and you want to be flexible with your ideas so that you can tailor it to your specific audience. Now let's talk a little bit about competition. Researching the competition is something that's very important. Um, regardless of what your business is, you have competitors, whether you think you do or not. Those competitors could be actual competitors who are selling the same thing that you are or um, presenting the same type of information that you are, or they could be something as simple as a keyword competitor, someone who is ranking higher than you in Google search results for a specific keyword. So it's important to know exactly who those competitors are and what they're doing and do some research on them. So with that in mind, um, one of the things that I've been doing recently is going through and doing some research on women entrepreneurs and seeing what sites are available out there. One of the things that's very um, interesting is how, at least from what I'm seeing so far, um, and ladies, please correct me if I'm wrong, but it appears that this market is <laughs> woefully underserved. Um, just to give you an example, uh, I think it's Business Week magazine had a special report on women entrepreneurs, a special section of their site set up for that. Their top most recent article is from 2007. Um, so uh, that's a little dismaying. 
At the same time, there are other organizations out there and other sites that I've been looking at, including, for example, Ladies Who Launch, and uh, there's another one called Femalepreneurs, and a few others that have more relevant, more up-to-date information that look like good sites. None of them are going to have the focus that my site will have, so uh, I'm looking more specifically into what they offer, how they offer it, why they offer it, who they offer it to, and some of those types of things. And that's the same type of thing you want to do. You want to do some research, do some searching online, figure out exactly who is serving the same market that you're going to be serving, and how are they doing it? What are they offering? What are they charging? Um, I have a whole comprehensive list of some of those questions in that copy blogger article. It's listed, uh, I think it's in the first video, so you can check that out. But um, that's some of the research that I'm doing right now. And it's going to be an interesting process to see exactly what develops from here. But like I said, one of the important things that you want to do is make sure that you research that competition so that you know when you enter this market, exactly what are you getting into? What are you going to be up against? Who is going to be targeting the same audience as you? And it's not just from a standpoint of competition, but also partnerships. What other uh, organizations or, or individuals are offering you know, services or products that may be complementary to what you're doing that you could potentially partner with? And this is more of a general marketing uh, advice than branding advice, but there you go. So, <laughs> all right, so that uh, pretty much covers today's video. I'm going to be continuing to do some uh, ongoing research of my own, and I think the next time, the next video, I'm going to be uh, getting into a little bit about um, more of the visuals involved in branding. So that'll be a little bit more fun. This is Logan Zanelli from loganzanelli.com. Don't forget to punch in your name and email address down below to be notified of updates on this project and also get an email to let you know when the new blog goes live. Thanks a lot, and we'll talk to you soon.